How's it going? It's Patrick Friday. We are in Tenerife and we're about to hike up the volcano El Teide. Están listos! Let's go! So now we head into the cable car, which will take us up the what's it called that station, yeah. Cable car coming down the station. It takes like what eight minutes, yeah, to go up. We are going up the cable car to the cable car station, which is at 300, no, 3,500 meters. And then we're gonna go on foot for another like 160 meters. It's gonna take like 45 minutes for us. Oh man, look at all the lava man on the side. It's crazy. Look at the line, it's so even and sharp. So that's the dust zone from Sahara. I just asked my guide and she said it was 2300 from the station down below and it's 3500 now in eight minutes over a thousand meters that's where we're going so now we need to show our IDs otherwise we wouldn't be led to the trail so don't forget to take your IDs with you I have them somewhere <laughs> I'm joking about. Of the trail, Pico del Teide. Anybody passport? Hola. Hola. I need some sunscreen just in case Stay so we don't get burned, motherfucker. Yeah, you're so high, you never know. That's what happened for me last time when I was only like a thousand meters. And it's so like unpredictable when you're so high. I am safe, I'm sorry guys. So there is some snow in between rocks. <laughs> <laughs> We're about to begin our trail. 
a hike. Like the, uh, it's 9.56. Uh, see how like much sunny. time it's going to take for us to get to the summit. Yeah, I mean, like, there's one cloudy day. It's so warm, actually. But when we were like behind that building in the shadow, it was cold. But I can feel my hands a bit cold. Mm -hmm. Like there is always some above the clouds. Yeah. Shit. Some rocks. Lava rocks. So you come on your holiday to Tenerife and you wish to have a little adventure. You'd like to hike up to the peak of El Teide. You would need to apply for your permit and you need to do it at least 2-3 months before your arrival. As there is only 200 people allowed on the peak each day. We realized that too late and when I checked on the website to get my permit like a month before it was all booked up, but thankfully I found another way of getting to the peak. You simply need to buy yourself a guided tour with a tour guide who will take you up the trail so you can conquer the volcano and reach the crater and have your amazing experience at 3715 meters. So if you apply for your permit in a good time it's gonna be free, but if you're gonna be late like us you need to pay 130 euros. Guided tour includes pickup from your hotel, cable car up and down. So the cable car takes you up to 3555 meters. Between summit and cable car station is 163 meters and the journey is done on foot. Cable car both ways on its own would cost you 40 euros per person meaning that our permit costed us around 8 euros per person plus we got free pickup from our hotel warm heat coming out very important thing to bring your passport with you as all permits are assigned to your name and without that you won't be allowed on the trail remember to bring your passports with you I'm gonna link all that below for you, the permit, website and the guided tour which we are on today. Going up slowly, but you can kind of feel in here the altitude, I'm trying to take deep breaths. But thankfully we're not going like so fast, so we're all good. I can see beautifully the crater, wow. super volcano all around us. I just spotted some steam coming out. Some snow. You notice in this area there are more green around, some little plants. That is because there are a chimney here. Yeah? And the chimney is over there. There is the steam coming out. And the steam is water. And the That's end warm. water condenses and provides. Another stop on the break. What a view, no? Qué vista, no? Mm -hmm. Now we have the full Cañada Sur in front of us. It's called Kalima. That dust, so even. Like the altitude, the pressure keeps it so even. Yeah, 
toca bien. Y es muy habitual, ¿verdad? Sí. Yo el otro día vi una noticia que este año el Guado 2024 no se trata. Un Guado es muy que sí tendría a Pablo de Fútbol que no es el Guado. Y yo creo que sí. Y yo que Sauer es más que el Guado. Él es más que el Guado. Él es más que el Guado. Pero no es una de las mejores noticias. Ahí sí. Uh, lady guide, we just signed up to Taydev. Right now it's 3750 meters, but well, used to be 1000 more. Then everything collapsed. So when all collapsed, it went down straight to the sea, the ocean. And it made like a huge tsunami. And after that, a new volcano was born, which is Altaida now. That's the crater of Pico Viejo right there. That's the biggest on Tenerife. Pico Viejo. Pico Viejo. That's the second massive volcano on the island of Tenerife. Down below there, located at an altitude of 3,135 meters above sea level. With huge crater approximately 720 meters in diameter. There's another smoke coming out, some steam. Oh man, I'm just reaching so much greater. Oh man, that's ridiculous. Look at that. It's a lot of steam and you can smell it. That's the sulfur, yeah? See the yellow bits. That's the sulfur. It's ridiculous, man. I'm standing in a crater of volcano. Can't believe it, man. 3,715 meters. So that's my new record. You can keep continuing, we wait for the others, okay? So that's where the summit is. We need to get there. So we can actually say that we reached the summit 3715 meters. Let's do that. It smells like fireworks here. <laughs> These are hot volcanic gases and vapors that are emitted through these vents in the surface called fumarole and because El Teide is an active volcano meaning that there is magma still boiling beneath the surface. These volcanic gases include sulfur compounds which are highly poisonous and they all smell so bad like rotten eggs or fireworks. Temperature of gases leaving the vent yeah, can, ranges from about 100 oh, shit, to so 1000 warm, Celsius. Look, it's all steam on my hand now. It smells like fireworks, right? That's sulfur, man, and it smells like fireworks. It's so yellow. See, like the crystallized elements.
As you can see, all around these vents, there is a lot of deposition of sulfur-rich minerals. So we reached the highest point, El Taida, 3,715 meters. It's scary, but exciting. This is the official summit of Spain. Wow. There is no taller point than this wow. one in the whole country. There is a small cloud, white cloud. Yeah, man. There you go. A little bit. Scary, but exciting. These vents are associated with late stages of volcanic activity, although they may also precede volcanic activity and have been used to predict volcanic eruptions, which means that if we notice that these vents would start to steam more, that means magma is making its way up and we need to get out of here right now. Here, 850 to like 1,000, roughly 1,000 years anyway ago. <laughs>